Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we're doubling up. We're testing an absolute classic. Federal Power Shock, the 150 and 180 grain loads and 308 Winchester head to head. And here's my test rifle, a Ruger American Gen 1. Yes, I did the custom paint job myself. It's got a 22 inch barrel and I did have it threaded for a suppressor. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on here. I've got 308 stamped on the front and a white tail buck on the back. Check out my website, shopmasonleather.com. I'd love to make you one. I'll be taking three shots into ballistics gel from 100 yards. So let's shoot it. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that 150 and 180 grain Federal Power Shock out of the 308. The rain is coming down, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Let's go ahead and hit the 150s. Penetration wise, we got 18 inches, and then both of these are right about 20 inches. Absolutely beautiful expansion. They look really nice. Coming on over to the first block, we've got the wound cavities. Not as explosive as some rounds, but I think a good middle of the road. They come in, they start expanding at about the one, one and a half inch mark. You got your wound cavity that tapers off right here at about the 11 inch mark. Pretty par for the course for a standard cup and core lead and copper 308 hunting load. Let's go ahead and look at the 180s here. They did go a bit deeper. We've got one down in the bottom of the block right there, one right there. And then this one, we had jacket and core separation. We've got the base of the jacket there and then the lead core right there at exactly the same depth. So we're looking at 20 inches for that first one. The second one is right about 22 and a half inches. And then the deepest one about 25 and a half inches. So a little bit more penetration than the 150s, which is what I like to see for the same bullet, just of heavier weight. It kind of lets you know what you're getting into. And also like the 150s, it looks like we got good expansion, at least on that one and that one way down there. We'll dig them out in a second, of course. This one, I mean, it broke up. Sometimes it happens. And coming on over to the first block, we'll take a look at the wound cavities. Man, it is, it is thundering out here. I don't know if you can hear that, but it starts opening up very rapidly. Well, not as rapidly as some. Really about the one to two inch mark it's opening up. Then we got that wound cavity coming on back and it tapers off finally around the 12 to 13 inch mark. Starts getting thinner around 10 to 11 inches. Again, pretty par for the course for a 308 hunting load. So let's go ahead and dig all these out and take a look. All right, y'all, we've got the bullets out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and hit all the metrics and talk about it. The 150 and 180 grain Federal Power Shocks out of the 308. We got the 150s on the top row and the 180s on the bottom row. Weight retention for the 150s, 140, 141, 142, very consistent. For an average of 141 grains retained weight, that's 94% weight retention, absolutely excellent. For the 180s, we saw 137, 161, and 174, so quite a bit more variability. For an average of 157 grains retained weight, and that's 87% weight retention. And notice that bullet on the bottom left there, that 180, we did have jacket core separation there when I pulled them out of the block. All the other bullets were completely intact, you know, other than what weight, you know, shed off somewhere on impact. But that one bullet did separate. It is what it is. It happens sometimes. And the 137 grain weight for it was both the jacket and the core together. On to expansion. Just take a look at the photo of these bullets. Except for that one that, that separated, the expansion was really nice across the board. Nice and uniform. Nice, good looking mushrooms. For the 150s, we saw 0 0.75, 0 0.78, and 0 0.81 inches for an average of 0.78 inches expanded diameter. That's 2.5x expansion, really good. For the 180s, we saw 0 0.63, 0 0.83, and 0 0.9 inches expanded diameter for an average of 0.79 inches, and that's 2.9x expansion. So these things hit and got really big. They're gonna make a nasty hole. Now on to velocity. For the 150s, our high was 2779, our low was 2769 for an average of 2776 versus the factory build velocity of 2820. So we did come in 44 feet per second under factory spec. 
We're using a 22 inch barrel like most 308 Winchester hunting rifles have. If you're using a 24 inch barrel, no doubt you'll chew up that 44 feet per second. It's not that far under spec. I'm very happy with it. And our estimated impact velocity at 100 yards would be about 2,582 feet per second. For the 180s, our high was 2577, our low was 2539 for an average of 2556 versus factory spec of 2570. So we only came in 14 feet per second under spec for the 180s and our high velocity was actually higher than factory spec. So absolutely excellent there. The stuff's not downloaded or anything. It's got plenty of juice. And our estimated impact velocity down at 100 yards would be about 2,377 feet per second. On to penetration for the 150s, we saw 18, 20, and 20 inches for an average of about 19 and a half inches of penetration. That's pretty good. It's right there at that 20 inch mark I like to see for medium game hunting bullets. That's what most medium game hunting bullets in standard hunting calibers will do is 20 plus inches. That's why that's the benchmark. Has nothing to do with how wide a deer is or anything like that. So pretty good. There are some ammos out there in the same sort of class that do better than that. So just know that for the 180s, we saw a little bit more penetration, which is always nice to see with the heavier bullets of the, you know, the same type. 20 inches, 22 and a half inches, and 25 and a half inches for an average of about 22 and a half inches of penetration. A little bit deeper, not a whole ton. And there are definitely some 180 grain 308 Winchester hunting bullets, you know, in the similar category that, that penetrate deeper than this one. And you might ask, well, you know, why is that? Why are, why is there so much variability? Well, a lot of it has to do with expansion, resistance as it travels through the target. Remember the expansion on these was really, really good. They're very uniform. There's a lot of resistance as it's punching through and that's going to hinder penetration. There's always a trade-off. Nevertheless, both of these went plenty deep to you know hunt your typical medium game with. Kinetic energy wise, our 150 grain bullets going on average 2,776 feet per second would give us about 2,566 foot pounds at the muzzle and about 2,220 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards. The 180s have a little bit more punch, going on average 2,556 feet per second. We're looking at about 2,611 foot-pounds at the muzzle, and about 2,258 foot-pounds down, down there at 100 yards. Actually, you know, percentage-wise, they're, they're almost identical. All right, y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on that Federal Power Shock 150 and 180 grain loads out of the 308. Both loads did pretty good weight retention wise. Both were really good. That 180 that separated sucks to see. I'm honestly surprised that kind of thing doesn't happen more often in my testing. I guess that's a testament to sort of the quality of manufacturing and modern ammo and modern bullets that we don't see things like that more often. Expansion wise, both of these weights got really, really big. 2.5 and 2.6X expansion, nice and uniform, gonna make a hole. And velocity wise, these things aren't underloaded. I think with, you know, a 24 inch barrel, you'll definitely hit those factory spec velocities. The stuff's gonna hit hard. And penetration wise, both of them went plenty deep for your standard medium game, white tail deer, you know, black bear hunting. I don't know, maybe personally, I'm not a bear hunter, but if I was, I might per pick an ammo that penetrates a bit deeper than this just for some more insurance to get through whatever I needed to, heavier bones, non-perfect shot angles, stuff like that. But for your standard deer hunting, I think this will do just fine. So really thinking about it for me, if I was gonna use this ammo, I think for you know your standard deer and stuff, I'd be totally happy with it. If I was hunting something on the bigger end of medium game, say your black bears, larger deer, you know, your mule deer, stuff like that. I, I really think there's some other ammo options out there that might be a better choice that'll give you a bit more penetration while still delivering everything else. But remember, this is just, you know, lead and copper. From what I understand, non-bonded cup and core bullets, it's generally pretty affordable. And for most of your needs, it's gonna do just fine. But again, for your larger medium game on up into your large game, for me personally, I might go with something else. If you've used this on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And here are the back of the boxes for those 150 and 180 grain Federal Power Shock loads. Over on the right, it just talks about the Power Shock line of ammo, gives you a little graphic of the cartridge itself. 
And then on the left, we've got our ballistics chart showing our velocity, energy. We've got a handy little uh, zero chart down below that showing, you know, if you zero at 100 yards or 200 yards, what the trajectory should be. And of course, that, that has a lot to do with um, what the actual muzzle velocity is. That's why you can't trust these charts exactly. You have to know what the actual velocity is out of your rifle. And that's going to change that trajectory um, quite a bit at extended range. Anyway, here's the back of the box. Both of these, feel free to stop, pause, and, and take a look. And make sure you check out my website, shopmasonleather.com. Everything is handmade by me just for you. Cartridge cuffs, slings, even coffee mugs showing off all your favorite hunting cartridges. Perfect for deer camp. And I bet if you head over right now, there's a great deal waiting for you. I look forward to serving you through my leather work. The link is in the pinned comment or just type shopmasonleather.com into your web browser. And if you want early access to all my videos, become a channel member. The link to join is in the pinned comment. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.